Hey, and welcome to cloudwords.net. I don't know about you, but I have a ton of data scattered across my different devices and external hard drives, and I'm really constantly worried that I might lose some of it due to hard drive failure, viruses, or other accidents. The data I store on those spinning disks or SSDs is my life. So I really cannot afford to lose any of it, which is why I need to think about a proper backup strategy, and so should you. Now, on CloudWoods, we're all about backups and cloud storage. So of course, we need to look at the major contenders in the field of cloud backup. So today, I would like to look at Carbonite Cloud Backup and give you my opinion on it so you can decide if you want to give it a try or not. So for the impatient among you, let's talk a little bit about what you get for your buck if you sign up for Carbonite Online Backup. First off, you can download a 15-day free trial that will give you really plenty of chance to check out if Carbonite is something for you or not. Even if your backup isn't uploaded completely during the trial period, you can test, restore, and uh, browse your online files via your mobile device, for example, to really see if it's working out or not. Other than that, Carbonite is one of the services that offer unlimited storage space for your backup. So technically, there is no limit to the amount of files you can back up. If I were you, I would go for the Prime plan because it provides users with automatic video backup, career recovery service where Carbonite ships a hard drive to your door for faster restores, and it includes external hard drive backups and mirror image backups. There's just one huge bummer in this scenario. The Plus and Prime plans are only available for Windows users, unfortunately. Currently, Carbonite offers a 30-day percent off promotion, so make sure to grab that if you think this is something for you and you can get it right here. So let's dig a little deeper into what awaits you on the other side after signing up for Carbonite. Overall, Carbonite awaits new users with a decent setup wizard that helps through the initial process of setting up your backup. Inexperienced users are best served by going with the standard settings that will basically back up all personal documents. I took a different route because I needed to select a specific folder, my famous 10 gigabyte test folder. Now, I signed up for the basic plan, which doesn't back up video files or files over four gigabyte automatically. Users who want that to happen need to dig into their files and select them manually, for example, via a right click in the Windows Explorer. Now, Carbonite backs up files continuously. So whenever something changes in your files while you're working, this will be backed up properly. So. Let's talk about backup speed or how fast Carbonite actually shovels the data on the cloud. Carbonite performed very well in our tests and I could transfer my 10 gigabyte test files in about two hours, which is industry average when compared to, for example, Backblaze or SOS online backup. Crash plan was significantly slower, for example, taking almost double the time. If you need bare metal backups, or if you want to back up NAS drives, you have to opt for the more expensive Plus or Prime plan, but Mac users will be certainly disappointed as they cannot get these plans for their operating system, unfortunately. I was a little disappointed by the advanced setup as there wasn't a familiar file and folder tree structure where I could really select and drill down to my backup. So I couldn't really select which files I wanted to back up right now. Instead, I had to close the wizard, go to my test folder, and then select the backups via a right click in the context menu. Well, this is just a matter of preference though. Now, security is obviously a major issue when you transfer data to the cloud, and that's why I'm very pleased to see that Carbonite does offer private encryption keys that the users control. That means your files are encrypted before Carbonite actually uploads them to their cloud. Now, when disaster strikes, you need to restore your files fast. While the actual restore process was very easy and fast, I found the restore overview window a little confusing. Here are like three ways how users can access their files. They can search for the files in their backup, which is good if only one file is corrupt or missing and a full restore would be overkill. 
Then there's the option to browse the backup via a drive that shows files and folders. And lastly, you can just restore everything. One of the major benefits of cloud backup solutions is, in my opinion, file versioning. If files are lost, Carbonet gives you 30 days to restore them to your computer, and 30 days seems to be the sweet spot for many services, including Backblaze, for example. In terms of speed, we're looking at an average of 9.7 megabit per second, or roughly two hours for the whole 10 gigabyte restore. And that's a pretty decent result. Obviously, the restore time depends a lot on your internet connection. If you're behind a slow connection, obviously, you have to expect it to take longer. Just like iDrive and SOS, Carbonet lets users back up their mobile photos and access their backups via their mobile devices. However, there is no way to preview or stream files via a file tree. They need to be downloaded to the device and then opened by an external app that supports the file type. I personally have used this feature I don't know, countless times, as I tend to forget files all the time. One example would be, I don't know, bus tickets. Right after purchase, I move the PDF of the ticket into my backed up tickets folder, and there they sit until I really need them. So what is my verdict for Carbonite online backup? Carbonite offers, well, for one, unlimited online backup, which is great. Certainly not the only provider. I mean, there's Backblaze, there's CrashPlan, there's Acronis, just to name a few. But it combines unlimited cloud backup with a very easy user interface that doesn't slow down one's operating system. Also, file version recovery is a feature I really cannot live without, and the Prime Plan includes shipping of your backups to your door, which is a very sweet deal. However, I'm really sad that Plus and Prime Plans are not available for Mac users, though. Please, Carbonite, you're leaving, I think, a lot of business on the table here. Anyway, if you like, Read uh, this review, go click right here, and you can also sign up directly where they get a special 30% discount for a short period of time. Well, see you next time around, and obviously don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss a video on this channel. Bye-bye.